Tamarin is a 3D platformer and shooter starring the world's cutest monkey. Explore, leap, and shoot to save your family from the insect invasion. This game is heavily inspired by Jet Force Gemini and has loads of potential to be an amazing game. But does it live up to those expectations? Is it worth paying $40 for? Answers to those questions and more in today's video. How's it going guys? Now I've played Tamarin quite a bit since it has been released, and I just wanted to share my thoughts on this game so far. These are my personal opinions, but I also want to hear your guys' thoughts. And after watching this video, do you agree with me or no? Make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you like today's video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Now I have seen mixed reviews for this game, and honestly, that's how I feel about this game. I have mixed feelings. There's some good things and some not so good things, but I would say there's more positive than negative. So let's start with the positive. First off, the general concept of Tamarin is a really good idea. A cute little monkey platforming around, shooting and killing insects. The juxtaposition of the cuteness of Tamarin and the Rambo style shooter is something that I really enjoy and just a good unique idea for a video game, in my opinion. I also like the story to this game, the insects invading, taking over and capturing Tamarin's family. Tamarin must go all out with the help from a weapons dealing hedgehog. He must fight back against the insect invasion and save his family. The story is pretty simple and straightforward, yet still very enjoyable. The graphics and visuals are pretty good as well, as I have had no issues with frame rate dropping or lagging. It makes for a smooth gameplay experience. But one of the best things about Tamarin, in my opinion, is the exploration and level design. I just love exploring in this game. The levels are just perfectly sized with multiple paths and areas to explore. You can almost get lost at times, as there is no in-game map. But I think that's part of the fun. Figuring out where you are and figuring out the correct way to go and what to do next. The good open world level design of this game combined with some decent platforming really makes for great exploration and just tons of fun. And that's the important thing. When I'm playing Tamarin, if I ask myself, am I having fun? My answer would probably be yes. So overall, I think they did a good job on some very important elements, such as the concept, story, visuals, level design, exploration, and it's just fun to play. But there's also some negative things about this game, some small things and some big things as well. Remember when I said the visuals were pretty good? Well, for the most part, they are. There is some areas that aren't as high quality, and there's also a lot of repetitive areas and textures. Like a lot of the insect slayers look very similar, as well as a lot of the caves look very similar. It's almost like they just reuse those assets, which is kind of lazy in my opinion. There's just not enough variety of scenery in this game. The areas they do have are done really well. But like I said with the repetitive and similar looking areas, it's just a big downfall to an otherwise beautiful game. Also in certain areas of the game, especially in tight areas like caves, the camera just sucks and it gets very frustrating not being able to see what you're doing. The platforming in this game is decent, but I feel like they could have done more. The platforming does a really good job of enhancing the exploration in this game, but it's very simple and just a little bit too easy. It's definitely not hard at all, and they definitely could have done more with it, in my opinion. And the arrows, they're almost like platforming on autopilot, and I would just like to see a little more challenge in a platformer game. But the biggest downside to this game, in my opinion, is the shooting mechanic. 
This is a big part of this game, and it's definitely a big problem. The shooting works for what is needed most of the time, but it's just very difficult to aim and shoot exactly where you want to. It's hard to explain it, but the gun control and aiming in this game kinda just suck and leave a lot to be desired. So overall, the too easy of platforming combined with the too hard of shooting because of the shooting mechanic make for a big negative impact on this game. And I believe this game does not live up to its expectations. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy playing this game, and I've had a lot of fun playing it. Even though it didn't quite live up to its expectations, I still think it's a pretty good game. Should you pay $40 for it? Probably not. I would recommend waiting until it's on sale or something like that and buying it when it's cheaper. But if you would like to have some fun platforming around killing insects as a cute little monkey, then I definitely recommend checking out this game. On a scale from awful to amazing, this game gets a decent rating, 6 out of 10. But that's all I got for you today, guys. What are your guys' thoughts on this game? Do you agree with me or no? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked today's video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And peace out, fam.